Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we have another HTML for beginners tutorial. We're going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver because it's what I like to use. It's easy for me to demonstrate this for you guys. And since I'm using the entire Adobe Creative Cloud and paying 50 bucks a month, uh, I'm just going to take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be how to change the color of a hyperlink. Now in a previous tutorial, we already talked about how to create hyperlinks. We've talked about styles before with our how to use paragraphs uh, tutorial. So this is just kind of a bridge of a lot of those things. We're going to learn how to manipulate the colors of a text hyperlink. And it's really not that hard. So the first thing you have to do is make a text hyperlink. And we've already covered how to do that. If you missed that tutorial, you want to go back and watch it because it's going to really help you here. The next thing we need to do is we need to think about the different aspects of a hyperlink. When a hyperlink has been made, we can set a default color. In this case, it's green. When we hover over it, it's going to change to red. That's why we need this hover state. If it's been visited, it will turn to blue. And if we're on that page, it will turn to black. So we wanted to assign different color values to it just based on what's going on so that our user has an experience and understands uh, what they've done or what they're doing. Now, you don't always have to follow this. You can make it whatever colors you want, and you don't have to necessarily let the user know uh, that they're doing something specifically different. If you feel you want to just maintain the color, you can go ahead and eliminate the majority of these and just go with the A-Link color, and that will be fine. So in this case, if we decide to just cut all of this, which we could do, when we hover over this, you notice that there's no change. It doesn't change color. Uh, it doesn't get an underline. It doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to put this back, and you're going to see that now when we hover over this, it turns red and it gets an underline. And that's because here in the hover, we've set the text decoration to say underline, and we've got the color as red. Now we do have other options. We can make this uh, a line through. So now when we hover, a line goes through it. Now we may not want that. We might want nothing to happen when we hover over that that's special beyond it changing the color. So we can set that to none, and we can set the hover color to something else. We could set something like yellow. And if we hit refresh, you'll see that that's taking place. And you can't see yellow very clearly, but you do see that the color's changing. Let's go ahead and make that orange, just for the sake of argument. So now you can see it's orange. And if we want the default text to have an underline, we could just set that text declaration underline. And so now we know that it is a link. And then when we hover over it, the underline goes away. So that is how you manipulate the code for a hyperlink. You can see all of that code right here on the screen. And it's pretty straightforward. You'll want to wrap this in a style, and that's how you'll do it. Now, you can go ahead and use an external CSS document, which is a cascading style sheet, but I will cover that in a future tutorial. If you have questions about hyperlinks, go ahead and leave those in the uh, comment section below, and I'll try and answer as many of your questions as I can. If you have requests for future tutorials, go ahead and leave those in the comment section, and I'll try and create those tutorials for you in the near future so that I can help you guys out. Remember to share this with anybody you think will find it helpful because sharing is caring. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.